Hello, friends. Welcome again. So in this particular video, I will be demonstrating you all with respect to the docking point of view. So as uh, the uh, for the drug discovery and the designing uh, using in silico approach, we have to go with the different commercial as well as the online tools or the softwares are available for the docking point of view. And to understand the different concept and the methodologies which are available with respect to the different uh, databases and also the commercial software or the tools, we have to go through the different tutorials and then we have to uh, work accordingly. But you want to quickly uh, work with respect to the docking point of view uh, using a web-based platform, then definitely you all can go with the Swiss doc. So Swiss doc is a one of the web service to predict the molecular interactions also and also helps to perform the molecular docking study with the target protein against the small molecules. So if you are just thinking about to quickly understand how exactly the docking will move, so you can go with this link and how exactly this uh, Swiss doc will work. Okay, so for that particular purpose, I will be demonstrating you all with one of the example. You can even go with respect to the, the informations which has been shared, how exactly this, uh, why the, it has been created, okay, for the bio, to, uh, with respect to the binding mode of ligand, okay. And then you can even generate a complex uh, to perform a subsequent calculations from your data. So designing an inhibitor with respect to the target of your choice, and it will help you to include in your research-based uh, paper publications point of view, okay. So uh, you can go with the, target database also where it will also help you to just search the respective target of your interest what you are doing in the pdb database so what is pdb rcsp pdb database if you don't know definitely you can go with my uh, the channel in that i have uploaded the video with respect to the uh, pdb database okay you can search the pdb id from here of the protein target uh, or else you can even download from the uh, what you can say as the rcsp pdb fine and then you have to go with the submit docking option because here is an actual step where you can proceed by uploading the particular target file and also the particular drug or the molecule file from here. So here you will get to know that you have to go with respect to the PDB file uploading. So here you can even search the PDB uh, with the four letter code or else you can even browse the particular PDB file which is available on your system. Fine. So I'm going to browse from here. So once it's done, so I'm going to click with one of the PDB ID. So once it's done, so it will tell us that uh, here, the, the message will occur, which is explaining you about the, uh, do your protein is a complex, okay? If your complex protein is there, so it will a uh, little bit um, take a long time to understand the how exactly it can go with this uh, molecular docking. And sometimes it will give you a message that your protein is a complex. So whenever you are quickly just understand how the docking will work, so you can go with the small uh, protein target and definitely you can dock with the uh, drug target. Okay. So right now our uh, protein is uh, fine. So once you do that, so you will get that the successfully setup is done. So then uh, you can fetch the particular uh, drug or the ligand from here with the zinc database lig ligand name. Uh, or the SAC scaffolds, which we have done uh, with my previous video, fine. Or you can even upload the particular file. So that option is also provided over here. So right now you can go with the one of the uh, name of the particular drug. So I have searched this drug. So you have to click from here, like the search drug, fine. So once you do that, uh, so it will go with respect to the uh, finding the search drug uh, against the database. And you have to just click. And once you do that, so it will just say that just dock the particular one ligand, okay? So once it's done, uh, so it will again just recheck the drug, whatever you have given is correct uh, with respect to the uh, different parameters. And then you can have to give uh, one of the title of your uh, job. So I'm just giving over here as a docking. You can provide your email ID, it's an option, okay? And then we have one more thing over here, which is interesting, that is the parameter. So you have to set the parameters and what these parameters are about. These parameters are nothing but the X, Y, and Z coordinates where the pocket region is available of the protein where the drug will go and bind. Okay, if you don't know how to find the particular active site of the protein or the binding site of the protein, 
again i have uploaded one of the video which is called as a active site prediction so by there you can upload your pdb and as a output you will get the x y z coordinates with respect to the amino acids which are available in that particular conservation okay so meanwhile then you have to move with this step okay where you will get the particular uh, allow the side chains of the atom to the respective ligand okay so then we have one more thing that uh, what type of docking you are interested very fast fast or the accurate okay so definitely you have to go with the accurate so that you will get a very good results for that particular point and then you have to quickly just submit docking okay or this is start docking option once it done so it will tell you that congratulations okay your results has been available over here so you will get the results over here but you have to click this option you can avoid this once it done it will redirect with the new page and that particular uh, docking will be available over here automatically okay this page will uh, it might take a 15 to 20 minutes uh, based on the particular results will appear over here so um, and this uh, particular what you can say is the the page will redirect automatically so now you can see that i have uploaded one of the same example over here and it is still running and then the page will start uh, refresh accordingly when, and then once the docking uh, is done so the results will appear so now you can see that it has refreshed again with the docking so once it's done so again we will just uh, discuss about what exactly we will get as an output okay so that thing i will discuss in my next video so stay tuned for that